Final day of OneNote Magic, this is the organization system that brings all of these different features together. Over the past week, I have shown you several different OneNote features. Today, I'm going to help you combine all of those things we've learned into one system. First up, I want you to structure your notebooks by major area of life. All of your notebooks that you have. You can have one for work, one for personal, one for learning, maybe one for projects. And then within each notebook is when we start to categorize everything out. Within each notebook, you can have different sections. For my work one, this is how I've categorized it. A to-do list, touch bases, personal development, HR things, and then other ones that are really specific to my job. But I feel like if you're new, you can do to-do, meeting notes, projects, ideas, brainstorm. I have all these sections up here. It's easy to create one. You just press this plus button. Something I don't really see people talk about much is you can create section groups. Maybe you want to have like 30 sections, but that's overwhelming. You can create these section groups over here just to categorize and organize all those sections into one folder. And then also color coordinate all of your different sections to whatever works with your brain. For me growing up, I would always make math my red folder for school and biology blue. Kind of same thing here. You can organize your different sections by color. So you can see my personal development is kind of in that same blue color scheme as my HR things. And then of course, within each section, you have pages. With pages, this might be your meeting notes that you organize by date. It could also just be organized by person you work with. The beautiful thing about OneNote is everything is completely customizable, so you can make it totally custom based on how your brain works. And to summarize this past week, things you can use are tags and tag summary, templates for consistent layouts, control E to search for everything, the draw tool for handwritten notes, and Copilot for brainstorming and helping you write professional content. There are just so many more tutorials I want to show within OneNote. These are just the bare minimum basics, but this basic system has completely transformed the way that I work, and I hope that you found it helpful as well. Thank you for following along this seven-day series. Let me know what your favorite tip was, what you want to see a further in-depth tutorial of, and as always, follow and comment below of what you want to see next. Hope this helps!